Now, veterinary practitioners nationwide have welcomed the ongoing crackdown on quacks in the industry, emphasizing that it will promote professionalism and ensure quality standards. Now, Dr. Ningala Kalachu, a veterinary surgeon and member of the Kenya Veterinary Association, has urged President William Ruto not to approve the Kenya Drug Authority Bill 2023, expressing concerns that it could infringe on the rights of veterinar veterinarians. Now, she also says that only only trained veterinarians possess the necessary expertise to determine appropriate animal products and merging human and animal drugs as proposed in the Kenya Drug Authority Bill 2023, which could lead to confusion and compromise animal health. We really want uh, to ensure that uh, we, we push for the legislations uh, to enact the, to basically enforce the laws, the vet laws, so that we don't have unqualified people coming to compete with the, to, to, with the veterinary uh, surgeons. And at the same time, because these unqualified people, when they are, when they are handling the animals and they are advising on the farm, their advice is not a stop much as that of the qualified people. So you find that the farmer will end up making losses because they, they are not getting the right advice. The productivity at the farm is going to be low and basically running the farm and, and uh, the cost of production is going to be a lot higher. So that's, that is one of the things that comes forefront when it comes to what needs to be addressed as in, in almost immediately. Now, customers can now renew their CIC motor insurance cover remotely via their CIC website.